Hey everyone, welcome back to a, I think it's gonna be a two day vlog. So I'm at my parents right now. Today we are doing the condo shoot that I mentioned last week at 99 Girard. So I'm probably gonna bring you along in like more of like a B-roll fashion, but essentially I'm here to pick up Wally. And because Wally doesn't do too well in cars, I have to bring my mom along as well. <laughs> he gets car sick. It's something he's had since he was a baby. The breeder kind of warned us about like how some dogs are just more car sick than others. I think just like humans and like even when we like drove him back from the breeder to my parents house he like basically like drools and like seems like he's gonna vomit um, and then if you like stop too often he does vomit <laughs> so I'm really hoping the traffic isn't that bad today so we can just do like a quick easy drive downtown to the condo he can relax and then he can be in the photo shoot so my parents gave him a little shower yesterday and he looked so cute I'm gonna leave the picture of his little face like right here because like his the top of his head is growing like exponentially faster than the rest of his body so it looks like he's wearing a toupee and it's the cutest thing but anyways i'm gonna go to my into my parents now i think i have like 45 minutes before we have to leave and i'll show you wally he is photo shoot ready and i kind of did my hair my makeup just easy glowy like smoothing everything out and i did my nails yesterday but they're like regular nail polish so like i've already like smushed it <laughs> the car are you ready for our adventure we're getting all set up with your little pad so you don't puke on mom right right Wally Hi. all right we just finished shooting for about two hours this is something I don't miss about condo life the like beeping of the fire alarm I mean obviously it doesn't happen all the time but when they're testing stuff I'm gonna walk you through the unit but peep Wally and my mom just Relaxing, Wally was a really good boy today during his initial first couple scenes and now we're just waiting to do the outdoor walking one and then amenities one, but I'm gonna walk you through this unit slash suite. All right, front door. This is the kitchen. And Wally's little pee station over here. You live in your area, hi mister. I thought you were napping. I thought you were gonna nap. No? Just lying down. Oh. oh! What was that? And then there's no balcony on this one, but you are basically right at university. University's right there. And you're near all the hospitals. And, and then we have the master bedroom, which slightly undone right now because we were shooting here. Closet. And then again, same view as in the living room, but there's no bar because the doors don't open. And then this is the bathroom. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, this is the view from coming out of the bedroom. All right, I am downtown in the Hudson's Bay at Eaton Center. I am going to check out some of their new fall stuff. I'm just waiting for my like tour guide or the person who's gonna walk me through their new stuff in a bit. I'm wearing some of the new Jenny Bird Tony collection today. My sweater vest, which I am obsessed with. Della Rock bag. My able to eat jeans and my Everlane cowboy western boots. I haven't actually been in a mall, I think, since before the pandemic, slash like a big mall, slash eating center. So I'm kind of just walking around right now. Um, I am bringing some stuff home, so I will do like a full on try on haul for you all as well. So if you can't hear me properly, don't worry. But this is the outfit of the day 
wanted to show you because I rarely get dressed anymore, so. All right, I'm in the car. I finished the Hudson's Bay um, walkthrough and then I did a bit of shopping because I was basically picking pieces from their whole like new curated, like what's next in fall fashion. I got some really fun pieces. So I'm gonna probably show you Monday or if somehow I get some like quiet time this weekend. I got like a jacket like a really cool jacket I'm so excited about it um, and then a like kind of jackety blazer that's like sorry I was saying before the camera slipped essentially I'm stuck in Toronto trying to get onto the Gardiner Expressway like onto that bridge where it's like a parking lot so I was like why don't I talk to you all and vlog while I'm stuck in this parking lot I got this really cool jacket it's oversized it's like army green with stars on it like I'm I like literally I saw it and I was like this is for sure going into the hall because one of the artists so they did three artists that got to choose like what's next in fall fashion and like I forget what his name is I'll let you know when I can read my phone and stuff but essentially his thing was like hero toppers so that's like I guess fancy outerwear and this is like perfect for it and then I got this like camely belty like blazer but it's more of like a jacket blazer because of the fabric and it was like 50 bucks it's super super affordable and then I got these Madewell dad jeans that feel like pajamas so I'm really excited about that because I feel like you will be really excited about it and then also I got this really fluffy um, v-neck oversized sweater that I got in size medium it's oversized um, very similar to the Zara crew neck teddy bearish one that I have but I feel like you guys might like this one better because it's kind of like a boxier shape and it's more oversized so that's the haul oh and then like one of the stops we made today was I think it's called King's Landing or no King's Crown and it's essentially a met like a male like barber place and like to me is basically like the male equivalent of um, like the 10 spot I don't know if you guys have 10 spot where you are but like I certainly have it in Guelph I mean it's all over Toronto I think there's other places in Canada and then they apparently are like opening something in um, in the states some some places in the states have them now so it's like where guys can go like get their hair cut, um, wax, apparently it's called hand detailing and like toe detailing. It's basically a manicure and a pedicure, but named fancier. They gave me a little beard oil thing for Travis because I saw it and all of their like beauty products, at least like that line that they have is made in Toronto. So I thought that Travis would really appreciate that. So I'm excited to give it to him. He doesn't use anything for his beard now, but like he definitely has a su substantial beard. I feel like it might help him like be more comfortable with it. It's not like he complains about it, but I just feel like it's kind of like putting conditioner in your hair, right? I don't know how flattering this is, guys, but um, this is the only spot that you guys can really sit because I didn't put the dash um, tripod thingy with bobber on yet, and I didn't think I was going to be vlogging in the car, but since the traffic's so bad that might as well. So anyways, it's like 4.15 now, which is why the traffic's so bad because everyone rush hour and everyone's working again clearly or out and about again which is nice for the economy but not so great for traffic if you guys are looking for free people stuff like on sale Hudson's Bay is an amazing place to find that because they had this whole section on like almost clearance items like some were like 60% off like me I think 60 maybe 70 was like the max but still like so good and they have a lot of different styles I wanted to get this like cropped really really soft flannel but it was $200 so I like couldn't justify getting this it's like a thick flannel because it's so it could potentially be like a jacket for like <laughs> two weeks of fall maybe I just couldn't justify it, so I didn't get it and then I looked online and they're basically all sold out um, online anyways so I was like even if I got it like I feel like I'd get you guys excited about it and then it like you guys couldn't buy it because it's like sold out. There's only like a, an extra large left, I think, in the color that I was gonna get. So yeah, that does like come to mind when I'm shopping. I like to check online to see if things are still available, especially if I'm buying something new. So shit, I was supposed to send something to Carolyn. I'm gonna have to call.
call her. Okay, I am going to call her. Hey Siri, call Carolyn. Call you because I'm. I literally just left Hudson's Bay. They had, they had oh, issues did. with the gift card, so I lit. I'm just leaving now. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. But I do have mm. RW and Co. Like edited, but I just need to write the caption and I need to um, like upload it because it's there's a couple photos that I want to send. Probably won't be home till like 5:30 ish, so it might come closer to six. All right, it's Tuesday. Um, it's been a couple days because. I kind of forgot to vlog, but um, I'm going downtown now to get my hair cut. As I told you, I was gonna do like two weeks ago. I had to move it because my schedule got changed around. I did actually put, or Travis did, put some floating shelves in the corner of my clothes because sweaters are so big, they're taking up space. And finally put the artwork on the wall. I'll move the closet so you guys can see it better later. What did I do today? I did a lot of real estate stuff today. We have a lot of like pre-construction projects that um, just launched. So I'm basically busy selling those. And I have so many YouTube videos that I want to film. But the issue right now is like, it's so bright in the room that I normally film in. See, you guys see that? It's hard to film now because the shadows are so stark, as you can see. So I kind of, I'm hoping I can get these like sheer curtains to dilute some of the light. So I need to figure that out. But anyways, I'm going to bring you along with me to get my haircut today. I think Morgan will be okay with me putting the vlogging camera up and doing a little time lapse. So let's see. It's going to be my first time getting my haircut with a mask on. She does dry cut. So that's a, like one of the main things why I started getting my haircut with her because I was having all these issues with like my face and allergies, which seem to be okay. Minus my neck today because I saw Wally yesterday. So essentially I don't have to, like she doesn't have to wash my hair or get anything on my face and she just cuts my hair dry. So I'm pretty excited because my hair, even though I've been trying to grow it, like the ends are really messy now. So anyways, let's go. Okay, I actually just quickly washed my hair, blow dried it, and then also changed into my open fork cardigan, which I love so much because it's actually not itchy, but it's oversized and like thick enough. So I just decided that I wanted to freshly wash my hair, um, even though I had washed it not too long ago and it maybe it's better for the haircut, but now you can kind of see how much longer it was. It is after I like I, smooth use a smooth brush from the Dyson Airwrap so yeah I'm gonna order some coffee pick it up and then head out so see you in a bit Morgan, I don't know if you want to say hi. hi. <laughs> 
All right, I'm home with my new haircut sans the mask. So you can kind of see it a little bit better. Basically, it's a lot lighter on the bottom because obviously after growing it for six months, it got like super bottom heavy. So I feel a lot lighter. And then I got some like really, really like subtle, I guess, not bangs because they're like at chin length, but just a little bit more texture in the front. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go test the lighting upstairs now to see if I can film a Zara haul really quickly because I did get some pieces. Also, let me see if I can show you the texture of my hair. You can kind of see these pieces here. Is that better this way? You can kind of see. So yeah, you can kind of see the shorter pieces. And that's Travis's tomato plant that he moved inside because it's getting too cold outside. So I'm gonna finish off the vlog by showing you the pieces I got from Hudson's Bay. This is the Vero Moda jacket. I got it in a size medium because I knew I wanted to layer like larger sweaters underneath it. And I actually think that the shoulders are kind of sitting right where I want them to anyways. I believe it's on sale for I think either 50 bucks or 49. So I think it's a really, really good deal. And this one is by far one of my favorite jackets I've had in a long time. This one is from Avec Les Fee. So it's like dark army green with black stars on it and then like neon orange details. It does come in a black color with white stars, but I kind of like how this is like a subtle star print. And I got this one in a size medium as well, just because with jackets, I really want them to slouch and really be able to fit like all the layers that I do wear in the winter underneath. So yeah, these are my two main purchases, there's like a v-neck sweater. I guess I could show you too, but I'm really tired. So I might show it to you in another vlog. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you very soon.